Hi, you welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is ABM Graphics. Yes, on this particular tutorial, we are going to learn how to design email signature in Photoshop. On this particular email signature, this particular this thing normal comes at the end of every message on your email. When someone sent you an email, and then you have that kind of uh, some kind of banner down there. That is a professional way of customizing your email to the best so that any message that you send to anybody a client the client will, will be able to see your details your pro, your everything you get that yes so let's just go to our photoshop and let's get it down so first of all i've created this particular um uh, size of that which is two, uh, 650 by 250 which is uh the size that i'm going to use for that so a 650 by 250 and the resolution is 300 and the size is 472 you get that yes so on this so this is the size that we are going to use to design that particular uh, email signature so first of all what i need to do is to create my background so i'm just going to click on this particular adjustment layer this thing so when i click on that just like that then i'll go to what gradient then when i head off the gradient i'm just going to click on the gradient and then i'll search for the any kind of gradient i'm going to use for but this i'm going to use this particular gradient which is cool for me and then i'm just going to turn the angle somehow so that it will looks like this okay yes i think this way it's okay for me then i'll click okay so the next thing again i'm going to do over there is to go and import in an image or just a, a background that i wish to use and then i'm going to use this particular background and just how it is so i'm just going to uh, tilt it around so that it will go just like that just like that yes and i can have it just like this not that too distant however my laptop is just having a, a, some kind of problem so that's why i'm using it this way because i have i supposed to do it professional way but this way too is very good and then i'll change the blinding mode to a, a cool a, a color bend color bend this way it will be okay for me and then i'm going to try and reduce the opacity to somewhere 55 and that will be cool for me 55 that is cool then i can have it just like that you get that so i'm just going to have it just like this and then i'll group it together and then that one i'll just call it bg bg that will be okay for me then i can have it just like that you get that then I'll, i'm just going to lock it up you get that so the next thing again i'm going to do over here is that i'm just going to uh come up with a cycle that's a ellipse tool over here just like that and then i'll hold my shift and then I'll draw that particular distance just like that. Not that too big, not that too small. And then I can have it just like that. And then I'll try and move it around to somewhere here. That's cool for me. And then I'll duplicate it just like that. And when I duplicate it just like that. And uh, in the inner one, I'm just going to change the color to different color. So that I can easily remember what I'm doing. And then the outer one, that is the out. I'm just going to move it out so that that particular white color to appear over there just like that and then over this particular this one i'm just going to import in an image of me uh then i'm just going to insect it or clip do a clipping mask on that just like that and i can have it just like that you get that and then this one i'm just going to move it to somewhere here just like that sorry just like this oh my computer is having a small issue just like that you get that and then i'll right click and do what and do a clipping mask over there just like that and i can have it just like this that's so cool and then what i need to do again is that i'm just going to hold shift to group those one two and then i'll call that one image i'll call it image oh sorry my computer is having a problem a serious problem indeed okay then i'll have it just like that uh, for naming it, I'll just leave it this way and then I'll work on and then the next thing again I'm going to do over there is that I'm just going to pick uh, a tool called here rectangular tool over here And then I'm just going to draw something like this over there Yes, I'm just going to draw something like this and then I'll try and move it to somewhere here And then that one will be in a sector just like that you get that yes and the next thing again i have to do over there is that i'm just going to pick another tool ellipse tool over there and then i'll draw some small circle just like that you get that and then i'm going to i'm going to change the color to black this one should be black and then i'll zoom out and then make my work somewhere like this and i'll duplicate it and move it to the down just like that in the middle of that 
uh, line and then this one should be at the end of here you get that and i can have it just like that you get that so the next thing again i'm going to do is that i'm going to pick up uh, a distance let me open up my information that i'm going to use over there so i'm going to copy this name that's alas abrahim and then i'm just going to paste it i'm just going to paste it somewhere here that's cool that cool and then i'll let it come somewhere here and then what i need i'm zooming out to pick up this and then i'll draw out some guideline i'll come up with a guideline so that it will match up with how i want it and then i'll pick up the graphic designer over there and then i'm just going to paste that one too over here sorry i'm just going to paste this somewhere here and then i'll let that one to match up with this you get that so the next thing again i'm going to do is to pick my text tool and then i'm just going to draw up i'm just going to click and draw sorry i'm just going to click and draw something like this over there i just want a, a random text that i wish to use without a because i have nothing to show there so i'm just going to use this particular random text over there sorry let me come okay i can have it something like this and then i'll have it um not that too big not small okay and i'm going to change the font to t w cent month and then i can have it just like that and then i'll try and come up with a guideline a guideline over there oh sorry uh, my guidelines is having a problem okay i can have it somewhere like this and that one should also match up and this one i'll push it to the top just like that you get that yes so the next thing again i'm going to do on this particular line to also supposed to be black that one supposed to also that one too supposed to be what to be black just like that you get that and then you can have it just like that you get that so we are just moving on and then i'll have something like this and then over there i'm going to change the color to black over there black and then i'll have it just like that and then a graphic designer over there i'm going to change the font to this month font over there and then that looks so cool for me and then this one is the same font cool okay and then let me save my work so that i won't have any issue at the end okay let me have something like this over there you get that yes and the next thing again i'm going to do is to pick up a rectangular tool over here just like that and then i'll just draw something like this over there not that too big just like that okay and then i'm going to change the color to black sorry changing the color to what to black i just want to change the color to black and then i can have it just like that and i'm going to insert in um a distance an icon sorry it's not there it's over here okay i just want to insert in some icon a call icon over there all right okay it's here then i can have it just like that and then i'll let it be somewhere here and then i'll change over there i'll change the color to white changing the color to what to white all right just like that you get that yes and then what i need to do over there again is that i'm just going to reduce it a little bit i'm just going to reduce it a little bit sorry a little bit small and then I'll try and move it into this. Let me zoom out. And then I'll push it in a little bit. Then I can have it just like that. Sorry, it has not done. I'll have it just like that. Not that too big, not that too small. And then I can have it just like that. And then the next thing again I'm going to do is to come and pick up the contact details over here. I'm just going to copy it. And then I'll paste it over here. I'll paste it just like that. Sorry. Sorry. 
I'll paste it. I'm have a time with that. Okay. So I'll just have it just like that. And then I'm going to paste it. Alright. Sorry. Have a time with me. My laptop is having a serious issue which I still to fix up but that is why I don't normally give much uh, tutorials like this just have a time with me and then uh, let me paste it on and then we can go on okay for now for me not to get the tutorial too long let me just copy this one and move it to this side just like that so that uh, I can finish up with this and then it will just leave with the text and then I'll head over again and then I'll pick up um, I'll pick up another uh, this thing which is the uh, web and then the same thing I'll just copy it, this particular this thing over there and then I'll make it I'll do what I'll paste that particular uh, layer style over there just like that so that that one will be white and then I'll push it to the top sorry I'll push it down uh, let me rasterize it then I can push it down like that and then I can have it just like that and I'll move it to the cycle just like that then i'll try and zoom it i will try and put up the size a little bit all right my laptop is typing on its own and i have been solving this problem for the whole month and i'm not still getting it so it just needs the repeller but i wish i'll have it done okay then i can have it just like that okay okay let me just leave it and then I can have it just like that. And then the next thing again I have to do over there is that I'm just going to do the copy and pasting. So this one I have to copy it over there. You see that because the laptop is typing on its own, there are certain things when you are doing it, it will type on its own, it will type on its own. You see that even when I'm trying to put in a text, it's not it's not minding me. You get that? Yes. So sometime you just have to have patience with me so that I can solve out this particular problem uh, in a time. Then I can have something like this over there. And then the next thing again I'm going to do is to pick up uh, this. Just like that. Oh, right. Sorry. That one has not given me a chance. I think the contact is very, very distant. Okay. I have it there. Then I can have it just something like that. Okay. And then um let me try and this one i'm just going to pick up that this thing and i'll move it a little bit over here and then i'm just going to have it just like that and then i'll just name it email and then what i need to do over here is that i'm working on. what i need to do over here is that i'm just going to have something yeah. like this over there and then i'll move it to the well, same thing over there, over and then I'm, i'll try and make it somewhere uh, like this like this so as uh, so i think that this way is somewhere closer to our design and then uh, over the last one i'm just going to try and duplicate it and then i'll yes i'll enlarge it a little bit even when when you enlarge it still it still do the same thing as you don't wish so it's the laptop that is disturbing and i'm going to, going to close clean up the field and I'll come up with a stroke of white and then I'll uh, let's have a let's say two okay two be okay okay for me over there you get that so then I can move it a little bit somewhere here and then I'll try and reduce it a little bit just like that you get that yes and I can have it just like that all right now I have uh, this and then the next thing again I'm going to do I'm just going to come up with a, a ship just like that I don't want any kind of uh, this thing but I just want to let it be somewhere here just like that okay then I can have it just like that all right okay then I'll change the color to this kind of color over there and then I'll have it just like that you get that so 
let me try and keep up with this then it should be in the middle okay and this one sh also should be in the middle and then I'm going just going to pick up this and then match it up with that and then this one too I'll match it up with that and then what I need to do over here is that my name I'm just going to highlight it with a white with white just like that okay nice one then I can have it just like this you get that yes and then I can do what I can do my I can save my work yes so this is how uh, email signature is designing and that is how you can do it you can choose up a size that is looks similar similar to this you can use 650 by between 90 and 150 that would be a nice one but this one that is how i want it to be on my distance you get that yes on my email and then all this anytime i send an email to anybody a client this particular distance tool will pop up at the end of them every message and if you want to know how to do that customization you can hit me up and then i'll show you how to do that yes on your email thank you very much for watching this is avian graphics and have a nice day bye bye